welcome back. We're ready to get round three started here. I hope everyone in the chat's still having a good time. Uh, you got your drinks in, you got your popcorn, your licorice, your Fortnite plushie. Uh, I don't know what else you need, really. We got Jamie from uh, Team Minus Two, also known as uh, Scrub Games, in our Player One slot. And then we got Zach over here from Hermit Style in our uh, Player Two slot. Uh, we got we got some some funky decks going on. I like to see it. We uh, the I'll just go with this one. While I was doing the overlay, I just thought about it in my head where people reference like to to this blue Goku deck, either Dead Coup or like Halo Coup or Angel Coup. I just thought it was funny that he had Angel Coup and Hell Coup together. So he's got Heaven and Hell going on with his Gokus. Got Turtle School, one of my favorites. Super fun green deck. Is it really good? I don't know about that one, but it's super fun. Uh, and then Jamie here going with a classic Prison Frieza, uh, as well as another Black Broly. So this is our first repeat deck of today. And you know what? That's one I'm happy to see. Uh, I, I know this deck's got support, but you still don't see it. So I'm glad, I'm glad we're seeing it. And then my favorite yellow deck coming in, Garlic Jr., right off the bat here against Turtle uh, School. I'm uh, I'm done talking now, Johnny. You can take the next hour. See ya. I was about to say the same yeah. to you, to be honest. <laughs> um, from a from a UK standpoint, um, I know that Jamie is a very meticulous deck builder. I always find that players fall into like in any card game fall into one of two categories. It's very rare that you get um somebody who's good at both of these things you either get people who are good at building decks or good at playing the get like good at playing decks mm -hmm. jamie's one of those rare people who falls into both categories um i'm sure when he watches this back later on he will be like grinning from ear to ear to hear me say this but jamie will build all sorts of weird decks and will just get them to work like his garlic deck it looks really um I don't want to say it doesn't look generic. It's got a lot of what you'd expect to be in here, but then there's bits of there's like the ratios and stuff will have been thought about really carefully. He spends a lot of time putting things together. Um, I'm looking at the total school build, and I can see it's a similar sort of deck, but with like the archetype swapped over. So that the top end um, for both, they've got like a mirror, a creator absorbed. You got your secret rares, um, could be Okai versus Gohan and Piccolo. Um, like the token negates are in there at the same ratio. Uh, the generic negates are in there at the same ratio. You've got unisons at the same ratio. It's going to be a really interesting... Um, it's going to be really interesting to watch the way that both of these games play out. And as you've said, uh, we've got Helku, Halo Ku. We've got Heaven and Hell. Yep. We've got Purgatory, which is Turtle School, mm -hmm. versus Garlic Jr., Black Broly, and Freezer Prison. Freezer Prison is one of Jamie's pet projects, and he absolutely like knows the deck inside out. Not running any of the well, we'll talk about um, we'll talk about prison freeze when we get to it. But but right now, uh, Garlic Junior coming out. Uh, lots of the Overlord cards, lots of the Servant cards. We've got the five drop. The five drop is so cool, oh, yeah. but it's just so bad because it just gets negged by red and it doesn't uh, do anything. But this ain't red. Uh, this is green's got a lot of removal, just not uh, indestructible removal. And going into turn like turn two. You could literally just tap one for the villainous garlic junior and then tap another one to go into that sr which is super strong especially if you have that tp roshi where you can just free play that and then bottom deck and start your whole draw engine going so i i think it's super cool i think what garlic junior really needs like if it ever wants to be a super relevant deck is just another boss monster it just needs something else just like one extra boss monster because that's a unique card you need something that you can like play up alongside it yeah it needs like an eight drop 35k double strike crit indestructible okay let's we're getting ridiculous here but <laughs> I, I don't think, think I don't know, just two energy evolve onto a five drop i guess if, if you're evolving yeah but i'm saying something to play alongside it so you're gonna have that yeah, five so drop you still play, you, play, you play the eight drop on top yeah. of this, this new on top of five so. drop. i guess so and then yeah yeah and then you, you play another five drop and then you've got some some big swings see i just meant like another five drop that evolves on a different three drop and then it's indestructible, okay. maybe double strike instead. 
Yep. I, I'm, 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 I'm on board with that. I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, I, um, I think it's a, I think it's for what it is yellow really doesn't have access like yellow when you think of yellow it's always consistency it's always resting it's you know controlling board state but this deck sure it's got some of those elements but if you really want to cut loose with this deck you can <laughs> like you can spam out a bunch of servant guys bottom deck and play them from the bottom of the deck you're drawing replacing them and swing 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 I think you can make it very glass cannony and it's fun mm, yeah it, it's <clears throat> it's got the capacity to go mm. hard and fast and slap the opponent in the face, which is interesting because Total School will also take its own life to put itself to four. Jamie taking the hit there. Um, I'm going to let chat in on a little secret with Jamie, which is when he is... Uh, Jamie will shuffle his hand like he's doing right now um, in the early stages of a game. When it gets later on in the game, you'll notice that Jamie, if he's on top, will keep doing that. And if he's struggling, or if he's, he's like really having to, to pull his resources carefully, he'll slow down and he'll really like he'll go very stoic. And I noticed this when I was watching him in one of the big events that we had um, when I was judging alongside the rest of the, the UK judge team. Mm -hmm. um, he was in top four, he was on Red Sin, and he was against Red Gogeta. He was against um, Michael, who ended up winning the whole event. And Jamie just didn't fidget with his hand for the entire game. And I was, it was really, really interesting. He's going here, he's tapping. It looks like he's tapped three Ooh, there. Go Han Yunus. Oh, garlic really cell right powerful. now. Huh. So he's plus in one. He's just going to try and use this for the draw. I think in the early game, um, getting a big hand against green is going to be really, really important. Total School does have bits of hand control. It's not hand destruction. Um, but it does have access to those things if it needs them. I'm just looking at the um, Total School list. We've got King Piccolo Limitless Power, which comes down when you've got four or more energy and two World Tournament uh, cards in any battle area. So if his opponent plays one... Um, he can KO it, I think, place it in drop. Yep, and then play King Piccolo Limitless Power, which is pretty cool. Free double striker. Uh, Heroic Successor is an interesting one. Um, it's a the Vegeta Jr. Heroic Successor, which is the 4-drop crit 19k blue battle card. Hmm. The leader card is World Tournament, place it at the bottom of the deck, draw a card, uh, which I think it looks like he's going to just be using for cycle because I don't see a way for him to free play it. Um, but yeah, having a bit of cycle in green is never like a bad thing. Waking in there. Okay, let's let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Regina Jr. Is that a flash token I see? I'm 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 interested to see what that is, yeah. It's hard to tell when it's upside down, but I think it might be the flash. Yeah, Zach is play. He's, he's, all of his decks are on theme. Obviously, um, there was that one episode where, um, in the original Dragon Ball manga, I think it was um, partway through the World Tournament where the Flash just came in for one episode and like ran around the world to, to sort something out. It was really, really cool. Um, it's not really talked about by the Dragon Ball community enough because it, it was kind of here and gone. That's true. Um, just to get like uh, to, to go off on a tangent here, the Yamcha skills improved. The three drop that, that's next to the Goku in rest mode. The artwork on that is absolutely gorgeous. I really like that card in foil. It just looks really, really nice. I agree. Oh, you agree with one drops. What? I, I, Kit, Kit, I really want to know what deck you're on about. Please, please let us know. Ooh, uh, Chi Chi coming down as a free. Um... Rest mode time. Yep. Playing it. Battle card of Unison, switch it to rest mode. You know I beat you in a race once. That was for charity. That is. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Was that from the Justice League cartoon? Because that was a great show. Was amazing. Um, I remember watching that as a kid, and then I've, I've seen a load of um, memes. Um, like, from the show, I like quotes from the show. And it, 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 I love just how many, like, jokes were in there that people, like, kids didn't pick up on. Oh, Pilgor, um, have, that's, that's an interesting choice for the deck name. You haven't, uh, by any chance, had your deck name changed by any of the Deck Planet admins, have you? <laughs> no chance. Because if so, you're welcome. 
<laughs> Bottom deck. Here we go. Let's see. Get it out of here. Mobbing. The Mobius memes, man. The Mobius memes. Like, it's, how long has it been since Mobius came out? I think it's like re-releasing next week. I think they're going to do I another think. run. I think they believe Twitter, where everyone didn't get to see it the second time, it's so they're so going to do it a third time. It's so good. It's so good. They, they re-released it for the first time, and they lost, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars because nobody went to see it. Yeah, they got PlayStation 5. They're fine. I just loved it. I just loved it. I found it so funny. As yeah, so you can see, Jamie here with a very, very wide hand. Um, one thing I do need to mention as well, um, before we jump back in and, and allow the, the the people into the, uh, you know, the, the 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 cage, as it were, um, Jamie was describing um, his cube draft, which is something he's really, really proud of. It is really, really fun if you've not played it before. Um, he plays it as part of the webcam locals uh, the last week of every month. You basically play on Discord um, and on uh, Untap. And he was describing how the the, the um, cube draft is put together, um, and he was talking about archetypes, but he repeatedly referred to them as archetypes, and that just really sticks with me. Like it's two separate words. Imagine losing a Gallic Junior, and he doesn't even have a five drop out. This is true. But this is what I'm saying. Like, not only does Jamie build really good decks, he also knows how to play them, like inside out. He will he will already be thinking about his turn six. Um, so that resting of the was that the, the Goku that got rested there by? Then I'm not what? sure. We'll I'm, I'm a little on. confused. Bagamo GG, wait for it. He's not actually running Bagamo in this list. He's got uh, one power of a Super Saiyan, two Tyrannical Blow. Two release from evil, two freezes, army reinforcements, and I think, and then four copies of um, repost as his negates. Oh, and he's also got the um, Piccolo Junior demonic transformation. Or <laughs> when Bergamo was a four of and Poas was a four of, yeah, yeah. Remember, it was hell. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers because it was rested the entire time. What? So here's an interesting one for you. He's playing Mira Assault from the Skies, which is the seven drop double striker that draws a card and untaps an energy. But he's also playing Oolong at two in the sideboard. And I'm wondering why he's not playing Mira Creator Absorbed. Because Mira Creator Absorbed being like a hundred and something K. And then playing an Oolong and being like, oh, here's another one. Haha. -ha. That was a game that happened. That was a time that happened in the history of the game. Yeah, that's it is absolutely crazy. God, do you guys remember when Senzu Bean worked on both players' turns? Like, wasn't that crazy? God, back in the day, back in my day, Senzu Bean worked on both players' turns. <laughs> That's, uh, that'll be forgotten to time. By that, I mean, you know, the f seven reprint copies of Senzu Bean will still have the original text on them, so. Honestly, that, that, that's absolutely wild, isn't it? The number of times they've reprinted Bean, and then they've been like, uh, either now way. Now it's a different card. I remember people played Piccolo Surge. I played Piccolo Surge. I loved Piccolo Surge. It was, um, we got a new player at our locals uh, who turned up with Piccolo Surge. <laughs> he yeah, built he Piccolo know. Surge with Android 21 Violent Predator. Oh my god. <laughs> like, Why is nobody playing these cards, guys? Yeah, yeah, there's this thing called the uh, Bandit Arata list. I'm sorry to tell you, probably that half of this deck is on it. <laughs> I'm really sorry to say, but your deck just doesn't work the way you think it works. Oh. Kit, Kit, I feel like you're sending for me and I don't feel like I deserve it. I've not said anything about bottles of water or anything like that. One thing no one remembers is what the free play gravy for blue does. I do. I do. When it's removed by a skill, you get to untap an energy. I like your accent. Thank you. I, I'm trying my best to not pop off in a major way. I don't want to. I don't know. This is Rocket League. This, like this at is 10 or 4 in the morning. <laughs> I still can't believe it. I think Jamie swung with everything he's had on board and he's not tapped an energy yet. No, he is not. Let's see. 
He, he's he digging, in unison here, I think. I feel like he's digging for just something to play the five drop. I feel like he's digging, he's digging for his eight drop that he doesn't have. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's digging. He's digging for a card that someone's got to make after winning worlds. So he is running um, like a one of of Pan Inherited Bloodline and um, Sun Gohan Flash of Brilliance, which is the eight drop um, set nineteen. Yeah. Oh, sorry, set eighteen dual attacker with deflect. So I wonder if he's digging for the other part of that because he can play Pan for. We got a sneak one. peek of his hand. I think he's got that Gohan in there. Yeah, so we'll oh, be digging up as a Gallic Jr. There it is. Now we got that Roshi on board. Let's start looking top five. Let's go. Uh... Really good point from Kit, actually. That's a great point, that seven and drop. You see what I mean, though? With, like Jamie is, is sequencing this so well. He'll, he'll have been planning this turn whilst he was attacking. Got eight in hand. GG Zach scooping up. Yeah, let's go game yeah. two, guys. Let's go game two. This is a this is a lost cause. This is a lost cause. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get it going. Okay. Just swing here. Good old crit swing coming in. Baiting. He'll be baiting the negate here. I feel. Oh, he's gonna check it. God, that is a lot of cards in hand for that green player. Yep, that's uh, holy that's rare for green. Let's see. Shocking. Death shocking. Ball. Yep. Remember, he can pop something. He's forgot to pop something, I think. Oh, oh no. He's got, no, no. He's got rid of the two drop. He's got yeah. rid of the two drop. Yeah, he already did. He did it smart. Did it first. Look top five. I did another copy of Garlic Jr. there. As much as you say, I never doubt Zach. You, you, you never discount Jamie. Jamie is a very, very good player. So we're in 19k. Let's see it. What do we got? Oh. Is that just a swing for the Krillin, huh? Doesn't look like it from this game. What what game are you watching? What? I don't I don't understand. Zach is better and taller. Fair enough. Jamie, Jamie's not that tall. I, I, I will concede that. Two energy up. Okay. Let's see. He had got the two extras. Um, the freezer will repost will cost one. He's probably left one up for freezer, one up for tyrannical blow. So there's the freezer. Still got one energy, one energy open. Okay. Just reading what the yeah the amateur does there because I believe it gets a thing um, when it KOs a battle card. Should have swung leader. Him, Himothy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate that. I hate that I find that funny. Him in neutron. Excellent point made by Kit there. When um, rest in the when field field he there. needs to remember he can rest his field card. Second repost. Oh, that is difficult to get over. Himbo slice. <laughs> there we go. So we're tapping the field, tapping the energy, swinging the leader. Free combo from the drop. Draw a card. Hmm. Comboing off the repost there. And that is that. I thought it was Feudal Banisher there. It's um that's the eight drop go hand gone. Mm -hmm. So how do we evolve? Ah, because the permanent, that's it, evolved from drops. That's not a loss of resources for Jamie there, trying to maximize the, the Gohan. What's really good about this setup that Jamie's got here is he can now Overlord from Garlic Jr. leader, and then activate main, sorry, to draw one, and then activate main on the five drops, then play 
the Roshi that he's just bottom decked to then peep top five again. Yep. He's essentially pushing two. Like going into his turn here, he's gonna have five energy. The top end is really kind of what you're seeing already. So the units of being on five is actually really good because he can minus three, give his leader five k. Um, the unison gets triple attack, 25k triple, which is mega. Uh, we have got three dormant in the Roshi list, in the, the, the turtle school list. The eight drop Gohan is going to come down, I think, either this turn or next turn. So there we go, flip it over. Yeah. Crazy. How does he do it? The consistency it's is off the charts. Ridiculous. Oh, He's hit it every astounding. single time. Yeah, Paging no. Dr. Hoffman, I think my opponent is just like drawing all the right cards in the right order and yeah. setting his deck up where he wants with his yeah. deck slide mechanics. Oh, we see a good old counterplay coming in here. Okay. Uh, so, he's just basically setting everything up before he swings because I think we're smelling a dormant here. Yeah, he's got bottom decking again, drawing because there's no point in losing that card to yep. dormant. Yeah, I think the, the Piccolo is a card that a lot of people forget exists. Like, it's. It, it's it got played. Two... It got played a little bit once. Uh, once the green cooler stuff came out because i was on the receiving end of that where there was a ruling where people didn't know if empower would go through with that it ended up being that empower would still go through but it just wouldn't get its effects coming in to wipe the board so it saw there was a little there was a little window where it was used again because of that there's a four thousand percent chance he has cooler well there's a zero percent chance he has cooler because i've got the deck list in front of me and he's not running it he's going uh, balls to the wall he's taking the fight night experience he's like you know cooler is busted is. i ain't running it I don't want those meta cards in my deck. I Get want five drop out of here. Dolman potential. I'll just wait. It's fine. That's true. This is that, that is a good bait too. You're playing yellow. You got all your energy open. It's like please, Dorman. I, I definitely have cooler here. So the thing that I really like about this deck is i really like this the the, the total school deck is i really like the five drop krillin um you can just get rid of your one drop to when you ko a battle card you can ko your one drop krillin to play a five drop crit duel attack oh, if this yeah. card is in a battle when your opponent activates a counter skill they discard one card from their hand it's like really really nice out of all the times I've played Turtle School, I think I may have gotten the Goku out once or twice, the three drop Goku, that Krillin, every single game. Every mm. single game, I have to get him out because he is so good. 20k crit dual attack for one energy is mental. Yeah, and it's just like, oh, you want to negate the crit, uh, crit attack? Well, you're going to have to pay a cost for that. Sorry, ditch this card over here. Sorry, my, my bad. My bad. Just, just pitch another one. Lol. Yeah. Oh, here Did we I go. Now we, now we got some board control going on with this Goku. He's going to lock some stuff. Yep. And being buried to flight 25k, it's it's still got a good swing. Let's see here. Do we see the dormant now that he's tapped under three? No? Okay. 30k swing. I think here. he has... Did he already dormant? I think he already dormanted. So there's, there's... He's got one attack left. If he did, I completely missed it. Oh. Oh, right. okay. Well, Gohan, see you later. Thank you. I'll take that off yeah. you. Yeah. Big loss for Jamie, that. Yeah. What does Gohan say? Does it say yellow leader 5k? Or uh, does it say lead, one of your leaders 5k? Leader. Ooh, okay. Okay. And it doesn't need to be a yellow leader to activate his minus three, right? No. Nope. Choose one of your own card. The chosen card get 5k, oh. and this card gets triple attack. Oh, oh. We got a shift here. We got a oh shift goodness. in the Save match. Art. That's hilarious. That's crazy. Uh oh. Roshi and an extra 5k. Save art. Just sitting. Oh, that's absolutely crazy. That he literally he knew he literally grabbed that right through the phone, not even through the phone. I was gonna say, Kiss Me Through the Phone, Soldier Boy. That's what's going through my head. That song, classic. But, um, um I think, I think scary. what it is, what you can't see is they're actually sat in the same room, opposite tables. Yeah, that, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, so there you see the, the um, Vegeta Jr. Really, really. It's a really nice tech card, actually. I've never thought of using that in a World Tournament deck. That's unfortunately only World Tournament on the Awakened side. I wish the front side, so you can throw in that uh, green one-drop World Tournament Goku. 
That's always yeah. uh, such a fun turn one where you just play this. Like, yeah, you know how you're going second and usually start with seven cards in hand? You're going to start with six. I'm sorry. Um, Zach had to stack a bit there. Ugly draw. Bro is definitely cheating with that play judge. <laughs> nah. He, that boo, it was... Uh, he had it up his sleeves. His short sleeves, but he got him up there. What is he saying underneath the... Um, what's he got there? Sun Goku training beginning. The two copies of that, he's just got like... All of Jamie's deck list like yeah. built already. I was gonna say, I'm like, he's got the power of foresight. He had that go. He had that Gohan usage. Do you think he just has every unison Ooh, in, nice. in the game just in front of him there, just so he can do that and really flex? I believe it. I just think. Well, to be fair, if he if he is if he does have foresight, he's cheating because everybody else only has one sight, right? That's true. You know, maybe that's, five. that's, that's clearly how he's winning. Shake my head. Yeah. Not giving it the triple attack. Or is that just rest? Oh, I was resting from Chi Chi. Okay. That's what I was going to say. I'm like, huh? Or that was a swing. Uh, now I'm confused. I'm really confused. Yeah. How has he played Chi Chi? That's my question. Well, Chi Chi would be from the Garlic Jr. Like, Which leader one? ability. If that's what he rest moded there, I didn't know if he's attacking or oh, rest moding right. yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro is inting SMH my head. What's inting? Like I intentionally? Yeah, you see, that's League of Legends speak. I don't, I don't play League, yes. guys. Come on. Let's see. Going in again. Another double shot. There we go. Nice. Thanks, Bigger. Is that the Rengar? I'm just really confused. These words don't make sense. Look, can I can I have an adult, please? <laughs> Here comes Piccolo. Oh, I'm, do you know what? Everything I don't understand, I'm just going to assume is League, and I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> Everything is League now. We're all League now. Do you know what would have been even funnier? Is if um, Zach also had the same dice as Jimmy. <laughs> No, it would be good. <laughs> he literally, like, Jamie Jamie puts the card off screen and then Jack just takes the card, like, it's at the same fine. time. Okay, Frieza. Frieza coming down. Time. We have we have a Z energy. We have a Z energy. Um, don't have swing anything. With something? Yeah, he Nothing? doesn't have anything two or more that isn't in rest mode. Mm. Oh, here's the mirror. He's on one life. Does Jamie have a negate? Let's see. This is the one. Oh. I'm going to think that's a no. That's a no. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Ooh, and all the super combos are coming down. You really have to fail for the guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, my lord. Oh, wait. Is there, there's nothing he hasn't activated battle that just negates skills. That's that's really rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's picked and it up. That's game. Sorry off. Classic here. Let's do our search. See what's up. Again, you can see here Jamie fervently shuffling his cards. He's mm -hmm. pulled that seven drop there. I think it's the SR version. Yep, it is. Pass in turn. Zach really out here playing decks that have 7,000 auto triggers to just draw one card. It's true. Those angel halos bouncing back. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go here and just like, there we go. I went plus one in hand. Yeah, I, uh, I come up with this card that lets me um, look through my deck and search for two Budokai World Tournaments and then I play them in the drop and when I play them in the drop I get to take two cards from my hand and put them in my drop and then I get to pick the two cards that I put in my hand mm -hmm. I put them back in my life, look through my life, add two cards to my hand and then I get to draw a card Here's the bubbles Good old Surge, get the Olibu yeah. Sorry, card game Olibu, sure Oli Blue, Oli yeah. Blue 
That's um, that's what Big O Notation looks like IRL. If anybody's not met him in person, like you'll see him at Worlds, he looks exactly the same. The character of um, Ollie Blue was actually designed based around Ollie, like well, Big O. We we saw we saw in the trailer he had his uh, muscles out. He was shirtless for the first time on camera. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's it's a uh, it was a sight to behold. It was a sight to behold. Oh, of course. Looks like a bit of a bit more of a slow burn game here, I think. With Halo Coup. Have you played uh, Halo Coup? Myself? No, I have haven't touched I was I went straight to PyCon. Because there's a meme with my uh, chat, mostly just Pilgore, is when PyCon, and that was with the original set twelve leader. Mm. And my god, it was miserable playing it. So as soon as another PyCon leader got announced, it just started all over again. When PyCon, at least this one, I had more fun with. You know, I don't have to look at the top of the deck as much. There obviously still is cards I'm putting to the top of the deck and blah blah blah. But I, without with Sensu Bean being eroded, it's a it's a very hard time getting off the ground with that deck. But I still think it's pretty cool for what it does. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, that, I I, um, Aratorum, who I, he absolutely loves PyCon as a character. I was like, I, I'm just going to play the deck non-stop. He played it for about two weeks and was like, this is awful. And Wigglewaf is correct. We did have a fun match, uh, lore match here between Angel Ku and uh, PyCon on stream. Unfortunately, in my case, it went to Angel Ku. I took the L there, but that was uh, definitely a, a long-drawn blue match there. Just seeing, like, who the hell is going to... Uh, Drop well in my case it wasn't baby hatch or super pycon because you, you got to run super pycon if you're playing pycon that's just part of the rules nobody had fun the people had fun exactly you know, people had fun if the people aren't having fun then what are we doing why are we here how many timbits for Armando to post his what's si what's sin social insurance number is that an american thing um, the, that is a Canadian thing. So, uh, social, oh, okay. I think oh, social, like social security, security. social security, yeah. I think is the American one. Yeah, I've heard of that. You, you weird Americans, you weird Canadians right. with your things. Like, what are you doing? You're so silly. You're so silly. <laughs> my, my brain, when I saw it, I was like, is this a league? Thing? Is it, yeah. Is this league thing? The character sin? Oh. Right, so, nobody wants to steal my identity. Not with that attitude, you've got a lot to offer. You've got a lot to offer. Uh, here we go. Playing good old The, the Big O. The Big O uh. comes down. I mean, it's a night. It's a, it's a one-drop 15k body. Like, it's not terrible. It's just not as good as, like, tapping 16 and winning the game. Yeah, that's, you know. Winning the game is always nice. Like the four drops are really good. Dead in, dead heat, the one that oh, the dual attack. Really, I like really good. My my guilty pleasure is having that card in Blue Bardock, where you just discard your Call of the Great Apes and uh, in your Tor Tor's armband, which you can grab later, and then have that card, and then have the blue yellow Bardock to be able to draw two, and then draw one off that dead heat. Like it, it feels so good. Nice. I, like, I yeah, love yeah. that card. And it was Zarbon, a classic coming back here. This is one card you saw in every single green deck, and it's been it's been reprinted a shit ton of times too. I mean it's it's, it's a really powerful card, especially against the deck like this, where your your opponent's gonna have a lot of cards in hand, it just gets a lot of value. And then with it being able to play itself out for like discarding a green card is is really, really good. I'm trying to think if there's any green cards that add themselves back to hand from drop, but I don't think there is. No, it doesn't look like there is, but either way, like, constantly being able to pitch cards from your opponent's hand is, is mega. Well, what happened the last time we could add cards from hand to drop, or sorry, from drop to hand in green? They got banned and they were called Roshi. <laughs> R.I.P. Roshi. True. 
That's why they can't have nice things. Yeah. Look at Zach when he puts his hand down. He's really got the alpha stance with his arms folded. Yeah, he's, he's ready. he came to play. Or he didn't come to play, I guess. Does Jamie have Riz? I believe so. I believe he's Riz Master. 69, perhaps. I'd go with 74 just to be safe, but... Is Arbon down again? Let's see. Fain greeting. Yeah. From hand. He's chipping away at that hand. Let's see it. If I were Torrin was here, he'd be able to tell me, but um, he can't. I, I can't remember how much value there is in putting cards from Angel Ku's hand in drop. Because I know they do a lot of moving stuff around, and I can't remember exactly how it works. Well, there we go. Kyle Ken, we got Mono Green Energy. Bada bing, ditch another card. Jamie's the Rizzler. Is that the same as Chat's Bantz, Geezer? The Wizard of Oz, yeah. I love the phrase Wizard of Oz. I absolutely, I think that's absolutely fantastic. Thank you for bringing that into my life. Yeah. <laughs> right, Beerus destroys. See that card later. Bye bye, Zarbon. That's really, really powerful. And mm -hmm. the only thing I will remember is that Chi Life Reza Force Soldier can search that from the deck for two energy. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's not really gone. He's essentially got uh, six Zarbons. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, dead heat. Yeah. What a surprise got, there. You can artwork as well. Yeah. It is a beautiful card. Okay. Kyle Ken, gone. Get a free combo if he has a card in the drop. Yeah, when he, when he keeps fanning the, this hand out like that, it's always, like, super fluid. I love it. Mm -hmm. Looks like we got our own Z battle card here. That Goku, that 3 just feels so expensive, like in other blue decks. Oh, but it's also a 15k crit that's that draws true. a card. It's just, I don't know, when Cell is 2 <laughs> and that's 3, you're like, eh, I guess in this deck it's... It's fine. You can build Z energy pretty quick, and it's just compared to all the other blue Z battle cards. Like blue just has the best pool for the Z cards. Yeah. It it it's it's got the the best mix, I think. Mm. Which is probably why it's uh, it's like another problem. Well, not a problem for blue, but it's another thing that's. Um, Blue has going for it, as well as all the card draw and all of this. It also has the best Z battle cards. No, it's it's true. Yeah, let's see. Okay, pass and turn off. Jamie going up to four here. We're starting to see the, the sort of the point where his top end would come through. Um, if he can't get the seven dropped out this turn i think we might struggle to stabilize his top seven searching for something here i wonder if he's looking for um the eight drop to grab demonic restraint anything is he'll have to go to two life to do that well he wants the eight drop so that he can go for the whole oh my god he's not gonna find it because he wants to go into the z leader then play the eight drop and then play the seven drop but Yep, 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 yep. Just like we saw in the last Black Broly game, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Played the Searcher down here, grabbed another Searcher. Playing in the... Oh, he is Amazing. digging. He is digging. He must be digging for the 8 drop here. Yeah. Must be. You can see it there. I, yeah. <laughs> what? I'm really confused. What, what's going on? Guys, what, what the what's heck? that racket. What's going on? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Okay, we're going to swing here. Tap the two. We're going to bait and negate. Or he's going to just tap two and go into... Go into Broly, but... Like the Z leader, but... I, I, I don't know what's going on here with the double searcher. We, we know... All the searchers are gone now, I believe. 
played one yep. turn one, and he's got two there and one in hand. So we've seen all of them. There's no way he's passing turn here. He has no floodgates. There's no way he passes turn. These Timbits are going to hydrate the hell out of you. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. It's what he's, what he's doing in between rounds. You can't you can't see this, but he's literally sat there like chugging milk. Yeah, yeah milk specifically. Like, like like from a from a tank, not from, yeah. not from like a bottle, from a tankard. Yeah. That's why I sound so fresh all the time. Mm -hmm. Yes, crow's milk. <laughs> They're a very intelligent bird. I I I don't know how how do you get crow's milk? You do. Milk from a bag, milk from a paper bag. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent, hundred percent. Bagged milk is true. I I don't remember the last time I drank like I've had milk by itself. I don't like milk by itself. I like milk with other things. I'm a bit of a bit of a maverick. What can I say? Yeah. I don't know, like a protein shake or whatever. I just can't think. Even like I know people, oh, milk and cookies. Like hey. I'm just like, eh. Sure, but yeah, but I, I, I never, I, get, I never go for it. I don't know. I can get behind milk and cookies, but it, 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 it again, it's not something that I. Probably because it comes in bags, the plastic flavor helps. I guess so. Oh, come on, let's see it. He tap? No, are we not tapping? What are we? What are we doing here? Let's see. Are we playing one more searcher. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do if he does. Oh, There's a Majibu. Majibu, okay. okay. Let's okay. <laughs> steal some stuff here. Let's get rid of that dead heat. Yep. Yeah. You don't want him to keep that on. He's got a blocker now. But he's going to swing with it? Huh? Yeah, I don't know. So he's going to say, Dead Heat Ooh. only removes cards greater than their energy, correct? Yeah, but I mean, it does prevent Jamie from playing the 8-drop and the 7-drop, because they're not going to be safe. That's um, true. I think Jamie will, yeah, he'll discard one here to get rid of that card, to get rid of the um, yeah. Goku and then swing with the Boo. It seems like the... He's got sack 2 the energy, one for the play and one for the Boo, but he, yeah, I think he did. He had, he had three before, he's got one now. And I can confirm that... Uh, Three minus two is one. You're not the only big around here, Mister O. What? No, his name's not Miss. It's not Big O. It's all. It's Olly Blue. Olly Boo. There we go. Confirmed. Yeah, it, it, straight from the horse's mouth, right? Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how Jamie is gonna last here. Yeah, here's yeah, the just... here's the big boy. Yeah. That's huge. That's huge. And now uh yeah, time to remove. Has yeah. that Jamie has no negates. You have yeah. to have power burst. That's oh, it. he's got he's oh. got that. Of course. He's got of SGR. Course. That's that's some. He takes a life, bottom deck the card, and negates the attack. Huge. Absolutely massive. Pass and turn. Okay, let's see. Do we do we have the Broly now, or does he have to play that, that fourth searcher? Oh my god. Piss baby Gohan going for a stroll, swinging in. Classic Roshi super combos. I can respect that. Yeah, he's in a bit of a difficult spot because he has to charge green in a black deck. So we can't run. Yep. Um, any of the bottom deck draw twos, which would be nice. <clears throat> like I. I, I I don't know what he's got here because his opponent's on four and um, he's got a like 30k barrier blocker that's going to be swinging again next turn and um, 
There's the D magic. Yeah, the, it's blue. Like it's gonna be a really uphill battle for Jamie. Chat popping off with what I can only assume is League references is, is absolutely... Can... Why are you... Ex don't exclude me. You don't get to exclude me, guys. That's not that's not kind. That's not kind. Hey, you gotta suffer by playing League of Legends, so... Who really paid the ultimate price here? Hey, they're saving you. League changes a man. I'm just waiting to see what... What goes through here, because... You got a blocker. We already got two more energy up. Zach still has a fair hand. I'd say, what, six, six, seven cards? Here's the, yep. There it is. Still going into it. Just for the play here. Yep. Playing the Broly same Berserker. Where does it play it from? I'm going to drop, okay. So it comes out. Mm. He's gonna have a 30k double. I just don't see how he pushes that last bit of damage through. That's the only thing I'm thinking. Like, how does he get that um, that final push? Because if he know. if he can't force it through, he's gonna die at the clapback because he's not gonna be able to. I suppose he could power burst negate the attack, but then he's on one life. His opponent's gonna be. Yeah, he's there we already go. at one life. Yep. Okay, so there's that. Oh. Now we play the seven drop. Yep. Okay. Now we get to see his hand. If. Because he's got more. He's got more than four cards or three cards, whatever it is. Yep. He does have a blocker, though. So yep. it's. How do you take his own life? He takes his own life with the. Rolly's ring, I believe. The demonic restraint. It's with the. He dropped the eight drop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Same as Zerky. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. He dropped the H drop, so he got it in there, grabbed the Broly's ring, and then popped it out with the the Z Battle Cad. Yeah, because I think that the, that one is uh, choose one or two life. Like it's one of those. You have, to choose, of those, you have yeah. to choose at least one, but you can only you can choose up one or two. Okay, let's swing and see that hand. <clears throat> First to five. five. Let's see, what do we got? We got, ooh, no hits. Not ideal, but not terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of UI. <laughs> Instinctive, are you feeling? Ooh. Jesus. Well, let's let's get rid of the super here. Bait stuff out. Stop a little offense, but those... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's one of them. Um, like, you, you got to feel for Jamie there. He's looked at the hand and it's yeah. just like, it's yeah, worst it's case like, scenario. Yeah, it? it's just like, oh, God. And, you know, information is good, but sometimes it's too much to bear. You're just like, what? You have how many? Looking at the Z leader ability there, I don't think it can do much. It doesn't get rid of the battle card. It can warp something, I guess, which is pretty good, but it's not. Uh... I don't know. It, it, it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a searcher, to be honest. <laughs> Sarbon. Can you, can you imagine? Yeah, that was that was horrifying for him to look at. Now, oh, well, there's that last negate. He's just showed him that this is this is the last turn. I I don't know how Jamie go, gets out of this alive. It's gonna be if if he can do this, it will be absolutely astronomical. Yeah, I will lose my. Opponent's mind. going to his, his opponent just basically needs to swing with two things and he wins. Mm -hmm. Putting that, are we getting sell down yet? Yep, so that's game. Has yeah. to be. It's removed. It's 
25 crit. Power burst. Okay. All the energy's out. One life left. Jamie's got two, sw uh, two swings left to survive. Not enough cards in hand. Like, this has to be GG, right? Grabbing the Kai. That's what you gotta grab in this situation. Yeah, definitely. Okay, 25. Let's see. Roshi. Kai. Okay. Ow. Man, Ow, he's got to get out of 30. This man's insane. Yeah, and I think that might have just spelled gotta, game that's right gotta there. That's got to be it, right? I think that has to be it. Oh, Jamie. And that's, Jamie. That's a G. Jeez. Should have played Prison, Prison Freezer. Yeah. Should have played Prison Frieza. We already saw Black Broly. That's just bad news now. That's how that works. The deck has been used. That means it's cursed. Yeah, it is. It's, yep. it's, 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 I don't make the rules. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. But GG's. Congrats to Zach. How does it feel? Taking it home in two games. You didn't even have to go to game three. That was the first 2-0 of the night. I Listen, I was anxious the whole day. Usually I like sit and play Hearthstone or whatever. And I wasn't doing it because I was just so nervous about this. Uh, Jamie's a, a, an excellent opponent, so uh, it was. I mean, too too close. I mean, yeah, it was two. It was two two close games. I had no idea what was going on. I thought I I didn't know what he was doing, so I uh, I thought I was gonna lose every every time. So. No, you 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 did well. You made it out there. They they were close games. What was what was the thought behind bringing out the Roshi first? Uh, I got to represent. Um, I'm fair enough. I mean, Hermit style. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that first. See how it goes. That's also the deck I'm like least practiced with over the past like month or so. So playing like, I played it a while. Keeping yeah, the stronger no, no. ones for later. I had to, well, I had to read my cards. Um, it's been a while since I've had the cards sleeve. So no, yeah. fair, fair enough there. Um, going in, what uh, what made you choose Angel Ku over Hell Ku? Which is funny, you got Heaven and Hell going on there with yeah. the Angel and Goku. Yeah. Uh, um, but it was one of those things where like, I, I really like Angel Halo a lot. Um, like you, it, it doesn't really do anything. Like you're doing a lot of actions per turn for nothing. But I've been really enjoying the deck, so I wanted to play that. And then, I mean, Halku's my backup, but I didn't want to play that tonight. So, well, there you go. <laughs> if I had to go to game three, like. Fair enough. You didn't need to, uh, Johnny. Was there anything that you had? Um, I mean, for props to you for shouting out Jamie. He's a really good player, but uh, I think you both played really, really well, and and it just happened to go your way this time. But yeah, really well done, man. You should be really proud of yourself. The, yeah. No need to be nervous for next time, yeah. Yeah. No, right. Exactly. There you exactly. Go. Got the nerves out, hopefully. But it's your time to shine. I know you got your team there. Anybody else you want to shout out? Go for it. Uh, Hermit style. Uh, all my friends over out down here in Pittsburgh. Um, they take the brunt of the of the decks I play, the jank I play. So glad to hear. But uh, congrats on winning, and uh, thanks. thanks so much for giving uh, the viewers a show there. That was those were definitely some tight matches, and uh, glad to see it, and hope to have you back in the future. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it.